bestrobo.in, your favorite robotic and electronics store in India. Hello everyone, welcome to Mifratech. Today in this section we will learn about PIR sensor which is mainly used in order to sense the motion. So it is a passive infrared radiation sensor. So this is how a PIR sensor will look like. So as you can see. Uh, it mainly has there will be like uh, these uh, components will be present in this PR sensor module. It has sensitivity control, you can off time uh, control. It has a ground here, a D out, and it mainly has only three pins PCC, this in order to provide power supply, and ground. This one is the output pin, D out. So, as I told in earlier itself, it is mainly used in order to sense the motion. So, like in order to detect whether any human was moved in or out of the sensor's range, the uh, the range, the sensor PIR sensor will detect and send the data to the controller to the out pin. So, it mainly found in appliances and gadgets where used at home automation. You can make use of in the home automation or any business purposes. Uh, so, uh, as I told here, PIR means passive infrared or a pyroelectric or IR motion sensor. You can call it by any name. It mainly made up of pyroelectric sensors so it is as i see in the uh, like a figure itself uh, there is a round metal which has a rectangular crystal in the center so what it will do is it will detect the level of infrared radiation is like depending on the level of infrared radiation it will uh, detect whether any motion is there or not it will sense uh, like it may mainly emit very a uh, lower level of radiation So how it will work means the sensor uh, in a motion detect uh, there will be like two halves. This is in order to detect the motion and not average IR levels. So what are the different features of this uh, a PIR sensor means it is small in size it has a wide lens range. It is very easy to interface because it has only a three pins there and it consumes very low power and it is very easy to use. So that what are the technical uh, specification of this uh, PIR sensor means it requires uh, from 4 to 12 loads um, commonly will use uh, provide 5 volts of power supply to this PIR sensor in order to turn on the uh, sensor. So it has the output uh, voltage uh, like uh, around 3.3 volts. Mainly what it will do is it can distinguish between the object movement and the human movement also depending on the values created by this PIR sensor we can do that. It has two operating modes, one is a repeatable and one is a non-repeatable. It can cover a distance up to uh, 7 meters which are about uh, like 120 degrees Celsius, 120 degree, about uh, 7 meters range it can cover a distance. It consumes very low power uh, about uh, like a 65 milliamps of current it requires. It has an operating temperature of minus 20 to 80 degrees Celsius. So what are the applications are like where you exactly you can make use of this PR sensor? So in burglar alarms and security camps as a motion if any human motion or any object motion is detected or not in under industrial automation and like uh, home automation, automatic street or garage and warehouse or gardens lights there wherever uh, there is a human motion is uh, there or not in order to detect that in order to sense the motion you can make use of this PR sensor. So we will see how to interface this PR sensor with Arduino and we will write a program also. So as it has mainly three pins, a ground, a VC output and a VCC. So first one is the ground which I have connected to ground of, as you can see ground of the Arduino Uno microcontroller and VCCs we have to provide a 5 volts power supply that I have kind of provided from the Arduino Uno 5 volts. The output pin, so output pin I have connected to pin number 4 of that is the digital pin of the Arduino Uno. So this is the uh, easy, uh, after connect, these are the simple way like uh, three connection in order to interface PR sensor with Arduino Uno. Next we will see uh, the program. So this is a simple Arduino program. So I have like uh, in this program what I am doing is whenever like whenever there is a PR motion any it will whenever the sensor sends a motion I have to turn on the LED otherwise I should turn off the LED like this it is a simple program. So for that I am defining a LED here int LED I am connecting like uh, connected uh, LED to the pin number 13. So the PR sensor I am connecting to pin number 4 as I uh, shown you earlier itself as you can see here pin number 4. So that is PR out pin. So I am uh, defining one variable here that is in order to know the status of the PR, PR status. Initially I have taken as 0. After that we have to do the setup that is pin mode we have to define. So as a pin mode of LED I am taking as output. So I am defining pin mode of LED as output 
and uh, PIR sensor I am taking as the input. So, I am using pin mode of PIR pin as the input. After that, we have to define the serial begin that is baud rate we have to define. So, serial dot begin baud rate I am giving 9600. After that, we have to write the program in the loop because it has to continuously execute. So, PIR status which I have defined earlier itself, I am using. So, uh, the PIR pin, uh, PIR output will, pin will be PIR sensor pin. I have connected to pin number 4 that I am uh, like stored in the variable PIR pin. So, I am reading the uh, values from that pin. So, using this digital read, as it is a digital values, it will be reading. So, uh, that uh, whatever the values it is reading from the pin number 4, that I am storing in the variable PR state. So, I am checking the now, the PO, if a PR state, if that a PR state value is high, if high means if any motion is detected, means I am making digital write of LED pin high means whenever a PR detected any motion, means it will like st the status will be high. So, at that condition, I have to turn on the LED. So, I am using digital write of LED pin I. So, after that, I am printing in the serial monitor like hi, hey, I got you, like if any motion is detected. So, in the else part, if the condition, if the PR status sensor, if it is, does not detect any motion, means at that point, I have to make the LED pin low. So, I am using digital write of LED pin a uh, low I am making. Low is nothing but I am turning off the LED. So, after that, in the uh, like uh, I am turning off the LED otherwise you can also uh, like uh, after turning off you can also write anything in the serial monitor also no motion detected like that. So, this is a simple way in order to uh, like interface a PR sensor with Arduino Uno and using a LED you can also see the status of the, the PR sensor. So, in this in this way you can make use of this PR sensor in order to detect any if human motion is, motion is there or not you can uh, make use of this. So, thank you for watching the video. Thank you.